So I just counted, there are seven numbers up here. So I'll divide 121 by seven, or 721. And now I'm gonna look at that and make sure that that looks like it, it is about the same as those numbers. And it is, so it's, it's a reasonable, that's a reasonable average, so I, I can feel pretty confident that I did okay. 103. Let's go ahead and come down to eight. We're just gonna do all of the, the means first. Um, the total is 343. I counted seven numbers, so I'll divide 343 by seven, and that will be my mean, or average. I prefer to say average, but in a lot of the math texts, it's mean. So, um, but it's not one of those things where math is right. Um, what we hear is wrong. They're both right. Now, I don't need this anymore. Let's go ahead and do the mode. Yeah, the, usually I don't put them in order just for the mode, but it's nice when they're already in order um, because, you know, I did it for the median because it's really easy to find the, the multiples. The only duplicates I have are 104, and so that's it. Sometimes you'll have more than one duplicate, and so you have to see what, you see what is the most common. Like you might have 204s, but then you had 398, so then 98 would be your mode. Median, that's the very middle number. Doop, 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 104. It's an odd number of numbers, so it was easy to find the median. The range, biggest to smallest, so we have 109 minus 96. That would be nine, plus, that would be 13. The range is 13. It's fine if you need to write it out. Not 109, the biggest number minus the smallest number tells you to split how far apart they are. Now for number eight, the mode is 65. Once again, we just have the one number that's duplicated. The median, one, two, three, one, two, three, up, oh, is 57, smack dab in the middle. And the range is 68 minus 14. How far apart are those? To find the difference between those numbers, we'll subtract and we get 50, 54. This is the first page. Let's go on to the second page. We're going to do most of that together. We've got five groups here, and we want to find the average. The, there are several ways to do this. Um, when you have manipulatives, the easiest thing to do is just to kind of spread them out until they're all equal. Let's see. Still not equal. No, they're equal, right? So that was a way of finding out that I have one, two, three, four, five, five groups of four. My average of these five groups is four. I just took all of them and I just dispersed them out evenly. The other way is if I have, I know this was one, this was two, This one, one less, this one more, something like this. One, two, three, four, five. Call that four. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see, we'll make this that, and how about that? Okay, so there we go. So we have these five groups again. The, the mathematical way that we do it is we have the five groups. We have this many in each group. We put them all together, so we're just gonna add them all up, put all of these together, and now that we have them all together as one, we're just gonna divide them back evenly into the five groups. Mathematically, this is the easy way to do it. As far as manipulating and moving the things around, this is the more tedious way to do it. But I have people do this usually as they are progressing toward doing it on their own. Um, so they can see how it's done mathematically and what exactly is happening when you, you put them all together, you add up all the numbers, and then you divide. There's one, two, three, four, there's five groups. So I'm gonna evenly put them back into five groups. And this is gonna take a little while, but that's okay, it happens. So I took all of the weird groups 
I took them, I took all of the numbers, I put them into one great big number, and then I divided it evenly into five groups, and I came up with four. Now, one more time, let's go back to more or less what we started with. Um, if I forget exactly what it was, it doesn't really matter. There was a three, we're gonna say there's a four. One, two, three, four, five, oops, no, I did that wrong. There, okay, so we have these five groups back again, right? Well, let's say that, let's say that um, I, someone was cleaning up and grabbed one of mine, just grabbed it and put it away. And then, but I wasn't, I hadn't figured out the average yet. And I don't know how many she took. Well, what I could do is, I could go ask someone, hey, 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 what was the average? And then I'll find out how many was supposed to go there. Because I need to set this back up for the next student, because I don't know how many goes there. So my, the, my next door neighbor friend sitting next to me, she told me that the average was four. So um, I'm still not sure, but if the average is four, maybe I can take all of these and figure out how much is left. So if the average was four and I had five, and I had five groups of four, it would be four plus four plus four plus four plus four. So I'd have 20. In order for the average to be four, I need to have 20 of these. Well, hey, I wonder how many I'm missing out of those 20. I know I'm gonna start with 20. That's how many I would need to have an average of four. And I'm gonna take away the ones that I have and then that'll tell me how much are left over. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14. So if I need, if I need 20 to have five for an average and I have 14, that means the missing one must be six. 20 minus 14 is six. And voila, there it is, six. And that's what we're gonna do on our, our work today. You are going to be working with averages where you already know the average, but you don't know how many is in one of the groups. Let's say there are a bunch of baseball teams. I don't know much about sports, so I may be clueless when I say this, so bear with me. There are a bunch of baseball teams, and they all have, the, the average number of players per team has got to be eight. You've got to have eight players per team. And um, they had all the coaches call in their numbers of teams, and except one. And they had to write down the team numbers and they had to report it before they could start the season. Otherwise, they weren't going to be cleared to start the season. You know, it's an official thing. But that one coach forgot to call in. Or maybe something happened and he didn't call in. So they don't know how many members are on that team. But they know the average. They know that the average number of teams, the average number of students on each team is eight. What they can do is find out how many, how many they have accounted for on all the other teams. There's six teams, and there's eight players on every team. There's the average of eight players in every team, so that'd be 48 players. You just add them all up, that would be 48 players. We know that when we add up the number of players on all the other teams, we have 39 players. So that means we still have nine more left over. So we would take 48, because that would be the total, subtract how many we know about, and then the answer is what's left. And let me show you a little more clearly. We'll do a lot of these together. We have these numbers, number six, 12, seven, and something. I don't know what it is. I know the average of these three numbers is 10, but I don't know what that number is. So what I'll do is, I know that if the average is 10 and there are three numbers, I would do 10 times three, I would have to have a sum of 30. So what I'll do is I'm going to add these up. 12 plus 7 is 19. Okay. If I have to have 30, but I only have 19, let's see what I have left over. 30 minus 19 is 11. Ha! That tells me that my number left over has to be 11. So what I'll do is, let me check and make sure. Um, 
12 plus 7 is 19, plus 10 is 29, plus 1 is 30. Yep, when I added them up, I got 30. So sure enough, and if, you're not, if you don't believe me, what you can do, you can average. Let's do it. So on 12 plus 7 plus 11 equals 30, divide by 10. No, we divide by 3, because there are 3 in each group, and we get 10. So you see that's the average. The average for number 7 is supposed to be 6. So I'm going to use that to find out what my missing number is. Since there are 1, 2, 3 numbers, I know when I add them all up, it's going to be 6 times 3, it's going to be 18. Wow. The average is 6. And I add them up and I get 18. What would... So if I were to add all three numbers up and get 18, then let me see how much two numbers make. Three and 15, oh, that makes 18, how funny. So 18 minus 18 equals zero. The third number is zero. That's awesome. You don't get zeros very often. So when you average these three numbers out, you get six. Number eight. The average is eight. So if I have three numbers with an average of eight, I would do eight times three. That tells me I would have 24 altogether. I already have ten, six and four, 10 accounted for. So if I have 24, take away the 10 I have accounted for, that leaves 12. So I know the missing number is 12. Number nine. 20 something and 15. Once again, three numbers. A lot of these, almost all of them have three numbers. When you get to the bottom, you get four numbers. So most of the time you're multiplying by three only because there's three numbers. So let's see, the average is 20. So 20 times three is 60. So I need 60 points. Let's see what I have. 20 plus 15 is 35. So I have 35 points. Let's take away, I get 25. The missing number is 25. So now I know that these three numbers average to 20. Number 10, they got you started. They show that, because um, there are four numbers here. One, two, three, four. The average is three. So if I have four numbers, with the three average, I'm gonna multiply three times four for four numbers, and I get 12. So I'm gonna start with 12. How many points do I have accounted for? Five plus two is seven, eight, nine, 10. So I have 10 points accounted for. So I'm gonna take away the 10, and that leaves two points left. So the missing number is two. 13, I hope that, I hope that you're, you're getting this. This is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. These all have four numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and just for time, I'm gonna do six times four is 24. Three times four numbers is 12. Seven times four numbers is 28. And eight times four numbers is 32. I know that each time I'll start, these are the number of points that I need to have So back to 13, 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 2 is 16. So 24 points that I need. I'm going to take away the 16 that I have, and that gives me 8. So the missing number for 13 is 8. Now we've got, these are some small numbers. The average is 3. So for the four numbers to have the average of 3, I need 12 altogether. So if I need 12 altogether, I'll subtract, I've got 11 accounted for. So the difference is one, the missing number is one. All right, so to have four numbers with an average of seven, we'll need 28 points. I have 19 plus 26. I have 26 points accounted for, I added those up, and that's two points left. 
So my average is two. My, my uh, missing number is two, pardon me. Finally, 16. The average is eight, so I need to have 32 points. I have 10, 20, 22, 29. I have 29 points accounted for. So that means my missing number is three. Now you can go back and do the rest. You have five that you do entirely on your own. The first two, they, they gave you a little help. Now I drew this line here. I should point that out. You may want to do that yourself. It's nice to be able to, to separate those two steps. They didn't really have a good place to put it, but there's plenty of space. So anyhow, off you go.